Today's news highlights. D2024-06-11. Time cut off, 1700 hours. News title, Skipping breakfast leads to dampness in the body. Drinking koya seed and green bean soup, for herb decoction helps in dampness expulsion, prevents hives and eczema. Published time, June 7, 2024. Reference, Health 2.0. Key points, Traditional Chinese medicine warns that excessive dampness in the body can lead to overall weakness, heaviness, and even affect health. Four behaviors exacerbate dampness, consuming ice, high sugar beverages, suffering from the three highs, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, hyperglycemia, and living in a humid environment. Signs of dampness include thick tongue coating, sticky stool, and limb weakness. Methods to expel dampness include drinking koya seed and green bean soup, the four herb decoction, exercising, eating breakfast, and foot soaking. Preventing dampness involves avoiding the aforementioned behaviors, strengthening muscles, remembering to eat breakfast, and foot soaking to aid in detoxification. News title, Eye Relaxation Exercises Recommended by Japanese Ophthalmology Authority. Alleviate eye fatigue, dryness, and visual deterioration. Published time, June 9, 2024. Reference, Health 2.0. Key points, Dr. Chihiro, a Japanese ophthalmology authority, recommends eye relaxation exercises involving navigating mazes to relax stiff eye muscles, reducing eye fatigue and dryness. The steps are simple, confirm the distance between the image and the eyes, then navigate the maze with one eye while keeping the head still and focusing attention on the eyeball. This exercise not only exercises the eyeballs but also promotes brain activation, enhancing visual information processing ability. Over-reliance on glasses or contact lenses may accelerate visual deterioration. News title, Taiwan has 385,000 mainland spouse, officials, few are espionage. Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Epic Times. Key points, Taiwan's new Immigrant Care Association chairman, Zhou Manzi, has been accused of developing a spy organization. The prosecution accuses her of violating the national security law. After Zhou established a new immigrant organization in Taiwan, she had multiple contacts with the Chinese Communist United Front Work Department and joined the China Semi-Official United Front Committee as chairman, advocating for the 1992 consensus and other policies, allegedly acting as an intermediary tool. There are phenomena of repeated members in mainland spouse groups, with strict management, and some members are mobilized to participate in political activities, causing controversy. Government agencies are paying attention to this to prevent infiltration. News title, Right Turn in European Parliament, Who are the Winners and Losers? Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Epic Times. Key points, the results of the European Parliament elections show that the center-right European People's Party remains the largest party, with Ursula von der Leyen's EP gaining about 185 seats, maintaining its leading position and expressing confidence in competing for the chairmanship again. Far-right parties have made significant gains while the left has suffered losses, indicating a rightward shift in European politics. French President Macron and German Chancellor Scholz's parties have suffered setbacks, with right-wing parties gaining dominance in multiple countries. Critics of the Chinese Communist Party have been re-elected, including French socialist Raphael Glucksmann and former Dutch government senior cybersecurity official Bart Gruthus. News title, New Focus of Us-China Trade War, Decoupling Graphite Supply Chain from China. Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Epic Times. Key points, the U.S. has imposed a 25% tariff on Chinese graphite to establish a decoupling supply chain for electric vehicle batteries. The Financial Times reports that although the U.S. government has exempted some tariffs for consumers purchasing Chinese graphite electric vehicles, the graphite issue remains a focus of US-China trade confrontation. Experts point out that the U.S. needs to transform existing facilities within three to four years to address the graphite supply chain issue and expect that only 40% of demand will be met by projects meeting IRA requirements by 2030. News title, How to Eat Zongzi to Supplement Protein and Calcium, One Type of Zongzi Can Scrape Off Fat. Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Epic Times. Key points, Zongzi, as an indispensable traditional food for the Dragon Boat Festival, can be eaten in various ways. From the perspective of traditional Chinese medicine, glutinous rice has the effects of invigorating qi, invigorating the spleen, warming the intestines, stopping sweating, and reducing frequent urination. However, Due to its high stickiness, it is not easily digested, and excessive consumption should be avoided, especially for children, the elderly, and those with spleen deficiency. Eating methods include pairing with cheese or dark chocolate, or with dried fruits or nuts, which not only enriches the taste but also improves nutrition. In addition, eating zongzi during the day is easier to digest, and it is best not to exceed one large zongzi or two small zongzi per day. In addition to eating zongzi, attention should be paid to insect prevention and virus prevention to care for health during the Dragon Boat Festival. News title, 
can't catch the bus, is the bus wrong? Learning common mistaken thinking and investment from the taking the bus theory. Published time, March 18, 2024. Reference, Commonwealth Magazine. Key points, the Taiwan Central Bank raised interest rates in sync with the U.S. Fed, causing market fluctuations and increasing the burden of housing loans. However, in life, we often lament if only I knew when we miss the bus, or miss the opportunity because we chose a faster route. Investment and financial management are similar, one needs to understand risks and prepare fixed expenses regularly. It is recommended to balance expenses and avoid large expenditures in a single month. Positive thinking also applies to investment, one should actively adjust investment strategies in the face of market fluctuations. Investment requires not only techniques but also mentality. News title, Coffee King Falls from Grace. China Starbucks Forced into Price Wars. Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Commonwealth Magazine. Key points, Starbucks, after 25 years in the Chinese market, has shown anxiety for the first time. Faced with low price competition from local brands, it is forced to participate in price wars. A large number of coupons have been issued, leading to a direct drop in the price of a cup of coffee to below 20 yuan. Starbucks emphasizes consumption on-site and requires open storefronts to welcome customers to cope with market competition. However, this move may weaken the brand's high-end image. Starbucks' long-held position as the coffee king has been surpassed by local brands, and economic downturns have led to consumer downgrading. News title, What to do when your subordinates are more capable than you. Published time, June 10, 2024. Reference, Business Weekly. Key points, in the workplace it's normal to worry about being replaced after you've taught your subordinates or apprentices. However, managers should recognize that different levels require different abilities. Frontline supervisors need technical skills, middle-level managers require both technical and conceptual skills, while senior executives prioritize conceptual skills and interpersonal relationships. Technical skills may be replaced, but conceptual skills and interpersonal relationships are more enduring. Therefore, managers should continuously improve their conceptual skills and interpersonal abilities, and learn from worthy individuals within the company. When encountering subordinates with both talent and virtue, they should encourage them to excel, aiming for a win-win situation. News title, Preventing AI from Going Out of Control, Humans Must Ensure Control. Published time, April 10, 2024. Reference, Business Weekly. Key points, the prospects of AI development are exciting but also bring concerns. Humans should actively participate in shaping the future of AI to ensure it aligns with our values and benefits society. From science fiction to reality, AI has become an indispensable part of life, sparking important discussions about its role and impact. We need to draw lessons from evolutionary history emphasizing adaptability and the inevitability of competitive survival struggles. To mitigate the risks AI may bring, we need to establish clear ethical guidelines and ensure that AI aligns with human values. This requires global cooperation and foresight to address this significant challenge. News title, Absolutely No Scolding Allowed. You have to spoil these four zodiac signs women. Leo women, naturally proud and high self-esteem, the more you spoil them, the more they flourish. Published time, June 9, 2024. Reference, Women's Best. Key points, when interacting with girls, special care is needed for certain zodiac sign women. These signs include Cancer, Leo, Libra, and Pisces. Cancer women are known for their gentleness and need security and love. Leo women crave respect and praise, criticism will only lead to resentment. Libra women pursue harmony and dislike conflicts requiring gentle and careful treatment. Pisces women are full of romantic dreams and require special tenderness and care to make them feel the warmth of being loved. News title, The Ultimate Solution for White Hair. Gray series hair color explodes in popularity in 2024, one dye effectively covers white, and upgrades hair quality. Published time, June 6, 2024. Reference, Women's Best. Key points, the latest hair color trend in 2024 is the gray series hair color combining low-saturation silver gray with Y3K style, presenting a fashionable look. This hair color not only enhances hair gloss but also cleverly conceals silver white hair. Various sample colors include Latte Silver Gray, the same as Espa Winters, and Lavender Gray, the same as Black Pink Rose S, allowing you to stay at the forefront of fashion. Among them, Latte Silver Gray combines the warmth of Latte Coffee with the coolness of silver gray, suitable for neutral and cool skin tones, and can conceal white hair, becoming the favorite of mature women. Starlight Silver Gray is dazzling and charming, suitable for cool white skin, making the complexion more radiant, and adding dimension and layering to the hairstyle. News title, Huang Jiakin's Marital Issues Exposed. Admits lack of courage, dislikes being told don't overthink. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Apple Daily News website. News highlights, 
artist Huang Jiaqian, in an interview, shared her recent situation. Aside from dealing with legal matters and guest starring in movies, she emphasizes spending more time with her family and considering starting to exercise to protect herself. Although she admires the courage of drama characters, she admits to not being brave enough when facing difficulties, preferring to avoid them. She values understanding from those around her and won't go out of her way to explain herself to everyone. Despite feeling upset when misunderstood, she doesn't appreciate others lightly comforting her. She maintains an open-minded attitude towards future partner criteria and is currently focusing on handling present affairs. With age, she's learned to listen to others and offer advice, acknowledging that she may not be smart but can bring comfort and happiness to others. She won't avoid taking on similar roles due to past shadows, believing that every role triggers details in life. News title, Unable to Recruit Employees Despite Offering High Salary Salary Conditions Exposed, Netizens Shake Their Heads, Too Cold Release Time, June 11, 2024 Data Reference, Apple Daily News Website News Highlights, A Female Netizen Sought Help on Card, Revealing Her Struggle to Recruit Employees for Her Family's Late Night Eatery even offering a monthly salary of $39,000. Despite this, she finds it difficult to find employees. She set work rules, but old employees were dissatisfied and left, hoping for management advice from netizens. However, after the post went public, netizens criticized the unreasonable salary structure, low night shift wages, and lack of incentives, questioning whether the management offers suitable treatment to attract employees. News title, Apple AI officially unveiled, only supported by these two iPhone models. Release Time, June 11, 2024 Data Reference, Apple Daily News Website News Highlights, Apple officially announced Apple Intelligence at WWDC, not only introducing Siri's more natural conversation but also revealing the supported device conditions. Apple Intelligence supports iPhone, iPad, and Mac series, providing text support, automatically summarizing emails and web pages, creating AI images, and supporting various applications. Additionally, it includes a feature to remove unwanted individuals from photos with a single click and can directly summarize voice memos for users. Apple also announced collaboration with ChatGPT, allowing users to use ChatGPT to assist in creating images and writing articles through series question and answer sessions. Apple Intelligence supports A17 Pro and M series processor models, exclusively available for iPhone 15 Pro and above models. News title, Fan Cafe Exposed to Pressure. Huang Yangming reveals inner conflict amount, she should thank Huang Kua King. Release Time, June 11, 2024 Data Reference, Apple Daily News Website News Highlights, Fan Cafe recently interviewed Huang Kua King, expressing dissatisfaction with the interview being edited down to 1.5 hours and uploaded a unedited video. Huang Yangming pointed out that Fan Cafe approached Huang Kua King to appear on the show, and the total views of Huang Kua King's main and complete videos exceeded 700,000, generating an inner conflict amounting to over NT$10,000. He reminded Fan Cafe that Huang Kua King had previously appeared on the show, so she should be aware of the editing process, which is pre-recorded and doesn't require attention to details. News title, Wu Meng Meng talks about the collapse of the Chinese AV industry, workload reduced to one video every three months. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Apple Daily News website. News highlights, Taiwanese AV actress Wu Meng Meng pointed out the direct collapse of the Chinese AV industry in the past year where she used to receive 10 to 22 videos per month, but now only receives one every two to three months. She advises aspiring male and female actors to leave or transition to self-media. She believes the current situation is difficult to reverse, but AV self-media remains unaffected. Many netizens discuss issues with male actors' performance, unrealistic plot content, and the appearance and quality of female actors. News title, Accused by Du Bing Cheng of Involvement in Three Unlawful Cases, Su Kioxin's Five-Point Statement, Act Fast. Release Time, June 11, 2024 Data Reference, Apple Daily News Website News Highlights, Kuomintang Legislator Su Kioxin responded to accusations from her husband, Du Bingcheng, of involvement in fraud, submarine sonar, insider trading, and other charges. She issued a statement, stating that Du Bingcheng's accusations are completely unfounded and unsupported by any evidence, she emphasizes Du's low credibility and considers these accusations to be nothing but lies from scammers. Su Kioxin stated that her supervision of the government will not stop because of this and that if Du makes these accusations in court, she will sue him. She refused to respond to the accusations from scammers, urging the media not to take their statements as truth. News title, Despite being the king of popularity, Yulan's attraction appears desolate during Dragon Boat Festival holiday, visitors to Qing Shui Geothermal Site reduced by half. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, during the Dragon Boat Festival holiday, 
there has been a significant decrease in visitors to the Qing Shui Geothermal Park in Yulan. Operators noted that in previous years, traffic controls were often implemented, but this time, there was an unusual abundance of parking spaces. According to statistics from the Yulan County government, the crowd at the Qing Shui Geothermal Park during the Dragon Boat Festival holiday has halved, with a noticeable decrease in the number of visitors entering the park. Visitors no longer need to queue up to boil eggs, resulting in an improvement in the quality of tourism. Due to earthquakes and weather conditions, tourists are not heading to Hualien and Yulan, affecting the local accommodation industry, resulting in a significant drop in occupancy rates. News title, Mainland Man's Speedboat Intrusion into Tomsui River, Quan Piling, Human Error Resulted in Complete Failure, Orders Disciplinary Action. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, Quan Piling, chairwoman of the Mainland Affairs Council, stated that in the incident involving a mainland Chinese man intruding into the Tomsui River, there was no malfunction in the Coast Guard's radar system, but rather human error that led to a complete failure, prompting disciplinary action and vigilance. During the incident, the Coast Guard's Sandia Aung radar detected a small boat but mistakenly identified it as a Taiwanese fishing boat returning to port, failing to report it. The 30-minute mistake was a human error. Quan emphasized the regrettable nature of this incident, pointing out the need to prioritize coastal defense tests, strengthen technological and personnel deployment, and enhance aerial monitoring capabilities. Whether the mainland man was genuinely seeking asylum or testing Taiwan's coastal defense remains under investigation, but his past naval service experience has raised concerns. News title, 5 Major Contract Manufacturers to Recruit 2,500 People, Imminent Talent Battle Set to Commence. Release Time June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, with a booming demand for AI servers, contract manufacturers including Quanta, Wistron, Kimpel, Inventec, and Wyvern collectively need to increase their research and development staff by over 2,500 people, MSI and Gigabyte are also actively recruiting. Quanta expects to add approximately 10% more R&D personnel this year, with Wistron CEO Lin Jiansun personally participating in job fairs. Kimpel is catching up with competitors in AI server deployment, expanding its server team by about 700 people. Inventec is recruiting about 300 new employees, while MSI is aggressively hiring, and Gigabyte has launched the Eagle plan, expecting to recruit over 100 talents. News title, Diana Ying no longer divorcing. Shares intimate photo with Sun Peng on Dragon Boat Festival, walking the journey of a lifetime. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, Due to suspicions surrounding their son Anson's alleged intrusion into a private residence, there were tense moments between Diana Ying and Sun Peng, even rumors of divorce circulated. However, on the Dragon Boat Festival, Diana suddenly shared an intimate photo with Sun Peng on Facebook, expressing the sentiment of walking the journey of a lifetime with a grateful heart, hinting that their marital relationship has improved. This has left people questioning the future of their marriage. News title, Despite being the king of popularity in Yulan, Clearwater Geothermal Site appears desolate during the Dragon Boat Festival holiday, with tourists halved. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, despite typically being a bustling spot, the Clearwater Geothermal Site in Yulan experienced a sudden drop in visitors during the Dragon Boat Festival holiday. Operators noted that unlike previous years, there was no need to implement traffic control measures, and parking spaces were abundant. According to statistics from the Yulan County government, the crowd at the Clearwater Geothermal Park was halved during the Dragon Boat Festival holiday, with a significant decrease in the number of visitors, eliminating the need for queuing to cook eggs and thereby enhancing the quality of tourism. Factors such as earthquakes and weather conditions contributed to tourists avoiding areas like Hualien and Yulan, significantly impacting local accommodation businesses, with a sharp decline in occupancy rates. News title, Mainland Man Speeds Through Tom Sui River on a Speedboat, Kuomintang Legislator Kuomintang, Complete Failure Due to Human Error, Orders Disciplinary Action. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, Tsai Ing-wen, chairperson of the Mainland Affairs Council, stated that in the incident where a mainland Chinese man intruded into the fisherman's wharf area of the Tomsui River, there was no malfunction in the Coast Guard radar system, rather, it was a human error that led to a complete failure. She has ordered disciplinary action and stressed the need for vigilance. During the incident, the Coast Guard's radar in Shailun detected a small boat but mistakenly identified it as a Taiwanese fishing boat returning to port, failing to report it. The 30-minute error was due to human factors. Tsai emphasized the regret over this situation and highlighted the importance of maritime defense testing, emphasizing the need for enhanced technology and personnel allocation, as well as increased aerial surveillance capabilities. Whether the mainland man was truly seeking asylum or testing Taiwan's coastal defense remains under investigation, but his past naval service experience has raised concerns. 
News title, 5 Major Contract Manufacturers to Recruit 2,500 People, Imminent Talent Battle About to Begin. Release Time, June 11, 2024. Data Reference, Yahoo News. News Highlights, With the Strong Demand for AI Servers, Major contract manufacturers including Foxconn, Wistron, Kempel, Inventec, and Quanta are collectively seeking to recruit over 2,500 R&D personnel. Companies like MSI and Gigabyte are also actively recruiting. Foxconn expects to increase its R&D personnel by about 10% this year, with Wistron CEO Lin Jianxuan personally participating in job fairs to recruit talent. Kempel is catching up with its AI server layout and plans to further expand its R&D workforce with a team of around 700 for servers. Inventec is recruiting about 300 new talents while MSI is actively recruiting, and Gigabyte has launched the Eagle project, expecting to recruit over a hundred talents. News title, Diana Deng and Sun Peng no longer divorcing. Sharing intimate photos on Dragon Boat Festival, walking the path of a lifetime. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, Diana Deng and Sun Peng's marriage had been tense due to allegations against their son, Sun and so, for allegedly trespassing into a private residence. There were even rumors of divorce. However, on the Dragon Boat Festival, Diana Deng suddenly shared an intimate photo with Sun Peng on Facebook, expressing the sentiment of walking the path of a lifetime with a grateful heart, hinting that their relationship as a couple has improved. This has left people questioning the future of their marriage. News title, Peeling a Mango Reveals Leg Hair, Shocked. Insider Reveals Truth, Absolutely Do Not Eat. Release Time, June 11, 2024. Data Reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, after peeling open a mango, netizens discovered that the flesh was covered with black thread-like substances, resembling leg hair, sparking discussions. After the photo went viral, netizens jokingly referred to it as the real man of the mango world, but others cautioned against consuming it, pointing out that the mango may have oxidized, indicating that it may have been stored for too long and is about to spoil. Professionals warned that consuming such mangoes may lead to symptoms such as diarrhea and indigestion. News title, Rain Expected All Day in the Southern Region Cheng Mingtian reveals potential disaster-inducing convection lines fortunately not affecting Taiwan. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, the Central Weather Bureau has indicated that the southern region may experience intermittent rainfall throughout the week, with temperatures ranging from 30 to 36 degrees Celsius due to the strengthening of the Pacific high-pressure system over the southern seas of Japan. There is a series of convections in the north, supported by atmospheric fluctuations, but they are relatively far from Taiwan with a low probability of directly impacting Taiwan. Areas such as the South, Central, Penghu, Kinmen, and Matsu may experience localized brief showers or thunderstorms, while coastal areas in the North, Orchid Island, and Green Island may experience stronger gusts of wind. People are advised to stay alert. News title, 19-year-old filial son beaten to death and dumped downstairs by employer's house. Setting up stall to raise money to save mother, unexpectedly met with tragedy, girlfriend tears into suspect's lies. Release time. June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, a homicide occurred in the Bangkiao district of New Taipei City yesterday, where the victim was a 19-year-old night market vendor who frequently sold banana pancakes at the night market to raise money for his mother's medical expenses. The victim's girlfriend stated that he did not owe any debts and suspected that the suspect had other motives. The victim's employer confirmed that he was diligent and even had aspirations to open his own shop. The victim was dumped downstairs at the employer's house, and the suspect even called the employer asking him to come downstairs, revealing the suspect's brazen behavior. News title, Alice recounts police visit in the early morning, encounter with criminals in head-on confrontation, harrowing experience coincidentally terrifying. Release time, June 11, 2024. Data reference, Yahoo News. News highlights, Alice encountered a car theft incident, and she felt confused and angry at the police's initial handling of the situation. After a series of twists and turns, the police finally apprehended the criminals at 3 a.m. and returned her car. Alice recounted the incident through a live broadcast, emphasizing the need for a more proactive police response to ensure public safety. Her children also received comfort and support from the police, and recorded a video encouraging them to believe in justice. The ordeal left her exhausted, but she humorously described the harrowing night. Headline asterisk fortunes rise after the Dragon Boat Festival. Three zodiac signs blessed by the god of wealth with lucrative investments. Release date asterisk June 10, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Soho names three lucky zodiac signs after the Dragon Boat Festival, Taurus, with diligent and responsible work, Taurian sees opportunities with insight, leading to significant financial gains from investments or careers. Expressing gratitude with small gifts can enhance relationships. Scorpio, 
with a strong thirst for knowledge and exploration, Scorpios are independent and decisive, potentially achieving major career breakthroughs. Trying new things after the festival can unlock potential. Aries, with leadership and initiative, Aries will see their careers reach new heights, achieving goals and dreams. Participating in social activities post-festival can expand their network. Headline asterisk emotional struggle with pregnancy. A sports goddess Yusai conceives after a year, flaunts baby bump, finally, you are here. Release date asterisk June 11, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk influencer and YouTuber Yusai, announced her marriage just before April Fool's Day and recently revealed that she is pregnant after a year of trying. She shared the joyous news on IG and Facebook, explaining that her thin uterine lining made it difficult to conceive. After adjusting her health and exercising, she finally succeeded. She expressed the emotional journey from hope to despair and then joy, noting that hearing her baby's heartbeat for the first time was the happiest moment of her life. She shared a photo of her baby bump and announced the baby's nickname, Xiao Buleden, hoping to inspire others through her story and thanked her family for their support. Headline asterisk Cheng Kuocheng generously lent 2 million, pregnant wife personally delivered the money regrets losing a friend, not worth it. Release date asterisk June 10, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk in a discussion about lending money on the show Lady Boss, Chung Kuo Chang revealed that he lost a close friend over a loan of more than 2 million NT dollars. He recalled his pregnant wife personally delivering the money and felt deeply regretful. Before marriage, he and this friend met almost weekly and shared a deep bond. Chung admired him and, when he was in urgent need, did not hesitate to send his wife with the money. Despite the friend's promise to repay with interest, he disappeared, and years have passed, with Chung's daughter now almost in college. When asked by CEO host BAU if they still kept in touch, Chung smiled wryly and said they hadn't heard from him in over a decade, feeling it was a great pity. Headline asterisk KO when JE visits Kuo Lily's mother's memorial hall, quick visit of 17 minutes and leaves with one word. Release date asterisk June 11, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Entertainment Industry Veteran Kuo Lily's mother, Mrs. LU, passed away from pneumonia at the age of 93. The memorial was open for friends and family to pay their respects. People's Party Chairman K.O. Wenjie visited the memorial hall at 10 a.m. today and left after 17 minutes, offering no details about their conversation, only saying, oh. Before departing, the tribute book outside the hall displayed names like former President Tsai Ing-wen, Taipei Mayor Chang Wanan, and new Taipei Mayor Ho Yi. Kuo Lily stood outside the hall watching the screen for three minutes before entering the memorial, covering her mouth and touching her reddened nose, appearing to wipe away tears unable to hide her sadness. Headline asterisk Gao Ling Feng visits in dreams. Kong Kong laments the ones who should leave don't and reveals industry veterans overdid plastic surgery, turned into villains. Release date asterisk June 11, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Kong Kong returns to CTS to host Super Fun Show, providing a song for the program free of charge. He faces copyright issues optimistically and lowered his hosting fee to reduce production costs. Kong Kong expressed gratitude for senior Gao Ling Feng's care, reflecting on his growth after his peak hosting period. Humorously, he described his belly as a fishing port, sharing deep bonds with Gao Ling Feng, Blacky Kao, and NG Mantat, emphasizing cherishing the present. Super Fun Show, hosted by Kong Kong and others, airs every Saturday at 8 p.m. starting June 15. Headline asterisk Lian Kunyi completes one year in prison. Sister reveals latest progress update, really UX. Release date asterisk June 10, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Internet Celebrity Lian Kunyi, sentenced to seven years for firearms and organized crime involvement in the 2019 live streaming riot, began serving his sentence in June 2023. On the Dragon Boat Festival, his sister Celine shared that Lian Kunyi still cares about his fans, writing letters thinking of them, and asked her to post his handsome photos. Celine wished everyone a happy Dragon Boat Festival and mentioned Lian Kunyi's progress with fans showing their support. Lian Kunyi also won a defamation case, with the opponent sentenced to 50 days in jail, convertible to a NT$50,000 fine, and the case finalized. Headline asterisk stunning deep V dress. The most beautiful prosecutor flaunts curves, reveals good news. Release date asterisk June 10, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Shen Hans Hang, Le Jian, the most beautiful prosecutor of New Taipei District Prosecutor's Office, is known for her outstanding work, having dismantled a violent debt collection gang and a drug factory. She shared good news on IG, announcing that the signed edition of her new book My Husband is a Beautiful Prosecutor, CO authored with her wife Cher, has sold out. Lee Jian posted a photo in a bright yellow deep V dress, showcasing her curves, 
and announced she would wear it at the book signing to meet fans. Fans praised her beauty and figure, thanking her for showing her confident side and encouraging others to be unafraid of others' opinions. Headline asterisk Sun Peng apologizes to win back Di Ying. Fed up with Sun's family sparks second divorce talk, reconciliation revealed. Release date asterisk June 10, 2024. Source asterisk TVBS Entertainment Headlines. Summary asterisk Sun Peng and Di Ying's 24-year-old son Sun Anzuo was arrested in Thailand after trespassing a home while under the influence of marijuana. Di Ying, exhausted from handling the situation alone in Thailand, once threatened to divorce. On the Dragon Boat Festival, Di Ying posted a photo with Sun Peng, stating walking the road together for life. Sun Peng confirmed he apologized to Di Ying, averting a divorce crisis. Di Ying was upset about Sun Peng caring for his sister, but he has since apologized. Sun Anzuo supports his mother, criticizing his father for doing many absurd things secretly and hopes he stops his deceitful behavior. Title, Blackfin Tuna Sashimi Covers the Essentials. Private Inn in Taichung holds bare-chested female feast exposing model fees. Release time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key Points. A private inn in Taichung held a stunning female body feast party where a fully naked model lay on the table adorned with body paint and fresh flowers, serving as a sushi boat covered with various types of sashimi and sushi. The invited female model charged NT$20,000 per hour for her first ever participation in this human show. The preparation for the event, including on-site cooking, body painting, and plating, took at least an hour. After the model lay on the dining table, to maintain the freshness of the food, staff quickly adorned her with flowers and various Japanese sushi dishes. Nearly 20 guests attended the event, but some privately expressed that they only saw various high-grade sashimi covering the female body, unable to fully experience the taste of the food. It is understood that the catering cost for this female body feast is at least NT$60,000, and the fee for the female model is at least NT$40,000, making the total cost of the entire event at least NT$100,000. Title, Wu Mengmeng exposes the collapse of the Chinese AV industry, laughing while shooting a film every three months advising male and female performers to leave quickly. Release time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points. Taiwanese actress Wu Meng Meng, known for her remarkable physique, once hailed as the number one actress in Taiwan, has transitioned into a producer and has also founded the YouTube channel Thought Society to share knowledge on gender relations. She pointed out the decline of the Chinese AV industry, stating that currently, it takes two to three months to shoot a film, which she can't help but sigh over. Wu Meng Meng mentioned that the Chinese AV industry peaked from 2019 to 2021 but entered a decline phase by 2023. She advised upcoming AV male and female performers to leave as soon as possible. However, she also admitted that without these willing entrants, the industry would be even less likely to revive. She gave an example, stating that from 2022, being able to accept 10 to 22 films per month, to now in 2024, only being able to accept a film every two to three months, demonstrates the avalanche-like decline of the AV industry. Title, 57-year-old Joey Wong's figure deterioration exposed, netizens point out two key factors, avoid speculation. Release time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points. Actress Joey Wong, known for her role as Nai Xiao Qian in A Chinese Ghost Story, became a well-known figure throughout Asia and was dubbed Eternal Xiao Qian. For nearly 20 years, she has been away from the entertainment industry, residing in Canada and focusing on Buddhist studies yet she is still often captured by locals. Recently, she was caught on camera allegedly with a big belly at a Buddhist ceremony, sparking discussions among netizens. Although some netizens suspected her of being pregnant, the original poster explained that it was related to the shooting angle, clothing, and posture, urging everyone not to speculate recklessly. On the Dragon Boat Festival, Joey Wong also shared a selfie to bless her fans, displaying her ever-youthful appearance, earning comments from netizens like, Time never defeats beauty. Last year, she rarely appeared in a congratulatory video for the 20th anniversary of Beta Taiba, evoking nostalgia for her voice, bringing back many memories. Title, Undying Cancer Patients Increase Threefold, Doctor Exposes, Likely Related to COVID-19 Infection. Release Time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key Points. According to research from domestic medical centers, the number of people diagnosed with autoimmune diseases after contracting COVID-19 has surged threefold. Among them, Lupus erythematosus increased by 2.99 times, ankylosing spondylitis increased by 3.21 times, and rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, and others also increased nearly threefold. The research team observed that the risk of contracting these diseases is higher for five major groups, young people, middle-aged people, females, those with comorbidities, and those with abnormal lifestyles. Although it is not explicitly caused by COVID-19, 
the infection stimulates the body's B cells, and an excessive amount of antibodies may be one of the important factors leading to autoimmune diseases. For those with a family history of autoimmune diseases, early diagnosis and treatment are also recommended. Title, Lingering Front Causes 7-Day Thunderstorms Across Taiwan Rainfall Hotspots Revealed Release Time, June 11, 2024 Source, China Times Key Points Meteorologist Wu Durong stated that a lingering front over the Northern Sea area will persist for seven consecutive days from today until next Monday. The weather remains hot when it's not raining, and influenced by the southwest wind, there is a probability of localized rain in the southwest region. Local strong convective rain will develop across Taiwan in the afternoon, accompanied by severe weather conditions, and the rain may continue into the evening. For the past four days, there have been localized heavy thunderstorms and downpours. This morning, the cloud cover over Taiwan dissipated, and cloud systems approached the southwestern coastal areas, accompanied by precipitation echoes. Temperatures in the northern region will range from 24 to 34 degrees Celsius, in the central region from 24 to 34 degrees Celsius, in the southern region from 25 to 36 degrees Celsius, and in the eastern region from 23 to 35 degrees Celsius. There is a chance of intermittent localized rain in the southwest region. In the afternoon, localized strong convection will develop, often accompanied by lightning, strong winds, and heavy rainfall posing a threat of landslides and debris flows in mountainous areas. Title, Taiwanese Actress Reveals Background of Mainland Man Who Illegally Entered Don Shui, Former Chinese Navy Ship Captain. Release Time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key Points The Northern Branch of the Coast Guard Administration arrested a mainland stowaway at the Don Shui Fisherman's Wharf in New Taipei City yesterday, raising national security concerns. Chairperson of the Mainland Affairs Council, Quan Pai Lai stated that the difference in this case is that the mainland man is relatively polite, well-dressed, and has served as a naval officer and ship captain. The national security system will fully investigate. Quan Pai Lai believes that the investigation leans towards direct navigation and emphasizes the importance of technological services. She advocates increasing the airborne capabilities of the Coast Guard to enhance its handling capabilities in similar events. Quan Pai Lai stated that a review of this incident will be conducted and emphasizes the need to deploy more experienced colleagues in critical positions in the future. Title. Big Sister's husband accuses her of involvement in submarine sonar, insider trading, HSU Yao HSIN responds, welcome investigation. Release time, June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key points. Three people, including the elder sister of Kuomintang legislator HSU Yao HSIN, Lu Xiangqi, her elder sister's husband, Tu Pingcheng, and their friend Lin Yulun, are suspected of assisting a fraud ring in laundering more than 30 million. The prosecutor's office applied to extend the detention of the three individuals, which was approved by the Taipei District Court. Tu Ping Cheng revealed in court that HSU Tiao HSIN was involved in three cases, including submarine sonar, receiving kickbacks, and insider trading. HSU Tiao HSIN issued a five-point statement denying involvement in the case and welcoming investigation, emphasizing that Mr. Tu's statements are completely untrue. Title, Strategic Expert reveals two key points about mainland man's speedboat directly entering Don Shui. Release time. June 11, 2024. Source, China Times. Key Points The Northern Branch of the Coast Guard Administration yesterday arrested a mainland stowaway at the Don Shui Fisherman's Wharf, sparking public discussion. Sud Zayun, director of the National Security and Strategy Research Institute, analyzed that the speedboat was likely dropped by a mothership and is a low freeboard speedboat, prone to radar noise, hence it was discovered only six nautical miles from Taiwan. The Coast Guard administration stated that they discovered a suspicious target six nautical miles off Don Shui and immediately dispatched personnel to monitor the situation. They arrested a mainland man surnamed Wan. The man claimed to have been restricted from leaving the mainland due to unfavorable remarks made there, so he decided to stow away to Taiwan in search of freedom. After the prosecutor's interview, Mr. Wan was handed over to the Immigration Services Special Task Force and is now in custody. Su Zayun pointed out that the landing site of this speedboat is one of the Red Beaches and is considered an important anti-infiltration and decapitation point by the military. Title, Nationwide Movement Supervising Blue Legislators Anti-Parliamentary Abuse Movement Advances to Beng Kiao, Tom Sui, Keelung, and Zindian. Published Time, June 11, 2024. Source, Liberty Times. Key Points, The Blue and White Parties Forcefully Pushed Forward a Bill to Expand Parliamentary Powers, igniting another round of confrontation between the government and opposition. Today, the Taiwan Citizens Alliance and the Economic Democracy Union held a press conference at the Legislative Yuan, announcing the launch of the second phase of action. They will hold citizens against parliamentary abuse, rejecting democratic backtracking medium-scale outdoor gatherings from the 14th to the 16th and on the 18th evening. They have invited Blue Party legislators Ye Yunji, Hong Mengkai, Lin Peixiang, 
and Loming Tsai to engage in dialogues with citizens at the scene. The civic groups have established the new Taipei Task Force and will conduct local dialogues in each electoral district to engage with Blue Party voters, hoping to change the voting tendencies of Blue Party legislators during the re-revision. They have commenced training sessions for movement discourse and have recruited volunteers while planning local dialogue actions. The gathering locations are not at the Legislative Yuan, and each event is expected to be attended by hundreds to thousands of people. Blue legislators have been openly invited to attend the dialogues. They will initiate nationwide coordination to organize activities, with the midterm goal being supervising blue legislators in all eight regions, monitoring the words, actions, proposals and votes of constituency legislators to prevent the passage of bills that backtrack democracy. Title, China Fumes Again Czech Republic Announces Opening of Czech Center Taipei in Taiwan Published Time, June 11, 2024 Source, Liberty Times Key Points, The Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs announced the opening of the Czech Center Taipei in Taiwan, scheduled for this Friday, the 14th aiming to deepen cultural ties between the Czech Republic and Taiwan and promote cooperation in various fields. The Czech Ministry of Foreign Affairs stated that the purpose of this move is to strengthen cultural and diplomatic ties between the Czech Republic and Taiwan. The center will be located in Taipei and will host a Czech photography and graphic exhibition on the opening day. Jitka Panek Jerkova, the head of the Czech Center Taipei, emphasized that Czech people hope to be seen and heard in Taipei. Chidra Ho, the chief deputy speaker of the Czech Senate, is currently leading a delegation of cabinet members to Taiwan and is expected to witness the opening of the Czech Center Taipei. This move may provoke dissatisfaction from the Chinese government. Title, Young People Ridiculed for Wearing Old People's Clothes, Are They Outdated? Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key points, Social media influencer Bonnie recently shared that modern young people no longer wear ankle socks but prefer longer socks that go beyond the ankle. Wearing short socks is considered old-fashioned, sparking widespread discussion. In a short video on INS Tiagram, Bonnie mentioned that young people nowadays don't wear ankle socks, they always wear socks with length. Many young girls only wear white mid-calf socks. She asked, is wearing ankle socks really considered old? Three young women expressed that they associate ankle socks with older people because their mothers wear them. This surprised Bonnie, who exclaimed, am I my mom's age? The post sparked lively discussions among influencers and netizens with many expressing surprise that wearing white knee socks used to be mocked, and many stating they will continue to wear ankle socks. Title, Renowned Korean Producer Attempts Suicide IG Post Reveals Extremely Dire Situation Published Date, June 10, 2024 Source, United Daily News Key Points, Korean singer and producer Lu Zewin left a suicide note on IG on the 10th, attempting to take his own life. Fortunately, he was quickly discovered, and after rescue efforts, his life was no longer in danger. It is speculated that he suffered an emotional breakdown due to involvement in composition fee fraud and sexual harassment allegations. In his suicide note, Lu Zewin mentioned, I want to get off the ride of life. Long-term use of sleeping pills led to impaired judgment and inappropriate behavior, and he could not fully refund the victims, only apologize. Additionally, his fiancé left him, and fearing and unable to face the estrangement of others, he made this decision. Title, 19-year-old constantly short of money. Suspected debt of 30,000 sparks fatal assault beaten and abandoned leading to rhabdomyolysis and tragic death. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key points, a 19-year-old man surnamed Chen from New Taipei City was fatally assaulted due to a debt dispute with a 21-year-old man surnamed Wu. Yesterday, in the early hours, Wu and five others went to Chen's residence in Bangkiao, and after luring him out, they took him to a cemetery in Taipei's Wenchen district and beat him severely. Chen was left severely injured and unconscious, then abandoned at the doorstep of his residence. Chen's employer received a notification and rushed him to the hospital, but despite emergency treatment, he was pronounced dead. Bang Kiao police arrested Wu and six others upon receiving the report, and after interrogation, they were charged with causing death by injury. According to reports, Chen was fatally assaulted due to unpaid debts, and further investigation is underway to clarify the details of the case. Title, Warning Shinshu woman purchases cockroach-infested beef noodle soup pregnant woman scoops a bite and finds it lying flat, resulting in contractions. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key points, recently, a customer ordered beef noodle soup from a restaurant in the eastern district of Shinshu City via a food delivery platform and discovered an intact cockroach in the meal. The customer's complaint to the restaurant was met with a response that shifted the responsibility, causing dissatisfaction. The customer vented their frustration on a Facebook group, pointing out the food hygiene issue and urging the restaurant to pay attention to environmental hygiene. A netizen, suspected to be affiliated with the restaurant, 
later apologized and promised to pay more attention to food hygiene and safety. The restaurant also pledged a refund and negotiated compensation with the original poster. Many people in the comments expressed their dissatisfaction with the restaurant's attempt to shift responsibility, considering it a victim of paranoia. Meanwhile, others expressed shock and unease at the incident. Title, Still Going Strong at an Advanced Age, at 102, she works three days a week thanks to three daily habits. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, United Daily News. Key points, Deborah Seekley celebrates her 102nd birthday this month, maintaining good health. She walks a mile every day and recommends staying active with positive friends. Seekley has been on a plant-based diet since childhood, similar to the Mediterranean diet, primarily consisting of whole grains, fruits, vegetables, and fish. Her three well-balanced meals include yogurt, bananas, and whole grains for breakfast, usually salads for lunch, and for dinner, she opts for fish, salad, and baked potatoes. She keeps her social activities rich, regularly attending theater and resort events, and continues to learn new things, believing that continuous learning is the key to staying healthy and happy. Title, Intruder Enters Park Women's Restroom in the Early Morning Attempts Indecent Assault on Lone Woman, Startled by Touching Feces, Pervert Fleas Published Date, June 11, 2024 Source, United Daily News. Key points, a male worker in Taipei attempted to sexually assault a woman in a park women's restroom early last year, but accidentally touched the feces discharged by the woman, frightening him to immediately stop and flee. The court ruled the male worker guilty of indecent assault and sentenced him to one year in prison, with an additional three years of supervision upon completion of the sentence. Although the female victim was frightened by the incident, she fortunately maintained her innocence. The case has sparked widespread discussion with netizens sarcastically calling it an unprecedented incident of feces, but most expressing concern and blessing for the female victim. Title, Social Media Influencer Riot, Sentenced to Seven Years After serving one year in prison, Lian Kunyi's study progress exposed. Published date, June 11, 2024 Source, United Daily News Key points, Social Media Influencer Lian Kunyi was sentenced to seven years for involvement in cases of intimidation and shooting. He began serving his sentence in June last year. On the Dragon Boat Festival yesterday, his social media platform suddenly updated a post, with Lian Kunyi's sister Celine wishing everyone a happy Dragon Boat Festival. She mentioned that although Lian Kunyi is still studying, he continues to support his fans and instructed Celine to attach the most handsome photo. This has sparked enthusiastic comments from netizens, looking forward to his early return. Title, North Korean Military Violates Military Demarcation Line, South Korea Conducts Warning Shots. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source. FTV News. Key points, the South Korean military announced today that the North Korean military violated the military demarcation line, MDL, on June 9, and the South Korean military conducted warning shots, successfully repelling them. South Korean Prime Minister Han deok su emphasized that President Yoon suk yeol is currently visiting Central Asian countries, hence he requested the military to enhance vigilance. The South Korean military pointed out that the North Korean military conducted operations within the demilitarized zone, DMZ, at 12.30 p.m. on the 9th, with some North Korean soldiers crossing the military demarcation line. The South Korean military immediately issued broadcast warnings and conducted warning shots, prompting the North Korean military to return to the north without any further unusual movements. The South Korean military resumed psychological warfare broadcasts at the inter-Korean border in the afternoon of the 9th, after a gap of six years, which lasted for two hours. Title, Chinese Boxer Rebellion Resurfaces After a Century Four foreigners stabbed with random knives lying flat in blood red, authorities hastily take action. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, FTV News. Key points, yesterday, four foreigners were stabbed in the North Mountain Park in Jilin City, Jilin Province, China, with four victims being American university teachers. The police have not yet released the identity and motive of the suspect, but relevant information has been blocked by the Chinese Communist Party. The incident has attracted widespread attention, with many pointing out that emotions similar to the Boxer Rebellion may re-emerge warning of the dangerous tendency of anti-foreign sentiment in China. The Boxer Rebellion occurred over a century ago and was a violent movement against foreigners and Christianity. At that time, the emotions of the Chinese people were highly agitated, leading to the use of vigilante justice against Christians and foreigners. Title, Formerly Suppressed by China in Tears Professional Baseball Cheerleader Cao Manyong wins Miss Glam World for Taiwan Today Published date, June 11, 2024 Source, FTV News Key Points Taiwanese professional baseball cheerleader Cao Manyong participated in the Miss Glam World World Beauty Pageant and won the championship as well as the Miss Talent title. She previously won the Miss Taiwan Pageant in 2017 and represented Taiwan in international beauty pageants. 
Cao joined the cheerleading squad of the CTBC Brothers baseball team last year. Cao Manyong thanked her supporters, stating that achieving her dream was not easy and emphasizing that beauty pageants require not only appearance but also intelligence and talent. She joyfully expressed that she now has good friends from all over the world and proudly exclaimed, Taiwan, we did it. Title, 2026 New Taipei City Election Li Mingxian reveals Huang Kuochang's inquiry, is the KMT willing to let go? Restoring the conversation inside the restroom. Publication date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, the election battle for 2026 is about to begin, especially the intense competition for the position of new Taipei city mayor. The green camp candidates have almost surfaced, but the blue and white green camps also support different candidates. Kuomintang, KMT, Taipei City Councilor Li Mingxian recently revealed on a political talk show that Huang Kuochang, the nonpartisan Solidarity Union, NPSU, legislator at large, once asked him in the restroom, is the KMT willing to let go? Li Mingxian firmly denied. This remark sparked discussions in the political arena. Li Mingxian explained that the two were discussing the issue of blue-white integration, while Huang Kuochang stated that he was inquiring whether the KMT would accept the results of the public opinion polls. Li Mingxian said that the integration plans of the two parties still need to be discussed by the chairpersons, while Huang Kuochang also pointed out that it's premature to discuss at this stage, and the decision will still be subject to the chairman of the Taiwan People's Party. Title, From Younger Sister to Elder Sister Wu Siyao competes in dragon boat races for 18 consecutive years, successfully capturing the flag, moment captured. Publication date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, every year during the Dragon Boat Festival, the Zhumei Kuiyuan Palace in Taipei City holds a dragon boat race. On June 10 this year, during the Dragon Boat Festival Dragon Boat Racing held on the banks of the Shuangzi River, Democratic Progressive Party, DPP. Legislator Wu Siyao has participated for the 18th consecutive year and served as the flag-catching hand. She has previously won six times within an hour, setting a record for the event, thus earning the title of the most beautiful and craziest flag-catcher in history. Wu Siyao participates in the dragon boat race every year, mainly as the flag-catcher, aiming to quickly grab the flag. After the race, when sharing photos, she expressed, I'm exhausted. Sunburned. But still demonstrated an undefeated spirit. Title Sexy dance moves from Shinzaki Habu. Netizens excitedly shout send it to toys to watch, and she responds gracefully. Publication date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, actress Shinzaki Habu, formerly of the girl group Twinko, has a sweet face and a hot figure. Recently, she returned to her old profession, performing a sexy dance that delighted her fans. Her boyfriend, toys, Lu Weijian, publicly acknowledged their relationship only last month before being imprisoned. Some netizens jokingly said they would send this performance to him to watch. In response, Shinzaki Habu graciously replied. In the program, she showcased her dancing skills, effortlessly mastering both cute and sexy styles. After uploading a side shot clip to her social media platform, she received plenty of praise from netizens, with many complimenting her superb dancing skills and saying she was extremely sexy, especially in the moves where she was on the ground. Shinzaki Habu stated that she would indeed send the video to toys as requested, demonstrating her generous attitude. Title, Positive June Horoscopes for Five Zodiac Signs, Career, Work, Benefactors, Financial Luck and Romance All Flourish Before the End of the Month. Publish Date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key Points, Tarot Card Teacher Eifer pointed out that the changing celestial patterns in June will bring a new energy, offering several zodiac signs the opportunity for a turnaround in luck. Aries will encounter a turning point in their career, especially around June 29 during the Aries waning moon, making teamwork more harmonious. Virgo's work prospects will also improve, particularly after June 17 when Mercury enters Cancer, significantly enhancing communication skills. Gemini will receive assistance from benefactors in interpersonal interactions, especially with the sextile aspect between Mercury and Uranus on June 30, greatly boosting their social prospects. Taurus's financial luck will improve, especially after the Capricorn full moon on June 22, presenting an opportunity for increased income. Cancer's romantic luck will see a turning point especially after Venus enters Cancer on June 17, making their love life sweeter. Title, Distinguished Director in Extramarital Affair Cheating with subordinate's wife and secretly establishing love nest, caught on camera fondling and sticking tongue out. Publish date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, Mr. A and his wife had a harmonious relationship until the end of last year when his wife began frequently going out and returning late. Investigation by a detective agency revealed that his wife had multiple intimate encounters with their good friend Mr. Chen. Chen even used the company car to pick up Mr. A's wife, 
accompanying her for dog walks and shopping, openly holding hands and embracing in public. The report revealed that Chen and Mr. A's wife had established a love nest in the community as early as August last year, shocking and hard for Mr. A to accept as Chen was a friend. Despite Mr. A discovering the truth, he chose to endure for the sake of the company's listing. However, Chen confessed to Mr. A three days before the listing, offering a financial settlement, which Mr. A deemed unacceptable. He decided to let his lawyer handle the matter. Title, Shen Jiezi surrounded by three older sisters at graduation. One is a singer, the other a news anchor, netizens, this group is better. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, Shen Jiezi, a graduate of Donghai University, was surrounded by three older sisters during the graduation ceremony, holding a red banner saying the sisters love you, with netizens vying to become brother-in-law. Now, Another group of three older sisters celebrated the graduation of their younger brother Gao Sheyu from Shi Hsian University by raising a red banner, and the photo went viral. Among Gao Sheyu's sisters, the eldest, 32-year-old Gao Yuxin, is a singer who participated in talent shows, the other sister, Gao Keiwei, is a news anchor for Eastern Television, ETTV, sparking discussions among netizens. Title, Man Gets Hansi While Driving, Fondles Chest and Touches Legs. Pervert Gets Car Accident. High school girl runs to convenience store for help and escapes disaster. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Set News. Key points, during the graduation ceremony, Shen Jiezi, a male student from Donghai University, was surrounded by three sisters and held a red banner reading The Sisters Love You. Netizens competed to be brother-in-law. Another group of three sisters celebrated the graduation of their younger brother, Gao Shi Yu, from Shi Hsian University, by raising a red banner, and the photo went viral. Among Gao Sheyu's sisters, the eldest, 32-year-old Gao Yuxin, is a singer who participated in talent shows, the other sister, Gao Keiwei, is a news anchor for Eastern Television, ETTV, sparking discussions among netizens. Asterisk translated in the same format as the Chinese text. Title, 0611 Seeming Chong, The Weatherman, Keeps an Eye on the Weather. Published time, June 11, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key Points. Weather highlights. As the rainy season approaches, the southwest wind strengthens. Showers are expected in the early morning in central and southern areas, with thunderstorms likely in the afternoon in mountainous regions. Some areas may experience heavy rain. Starting next week, the rainy season will come to an end, and the weather will gradually return to hot summer temperatures. Afternoons will see thunderstorms becoming the main weather pattern. Weather forecast. According to the latest European numerical model, on Tuesday, June 11, the first day back to work after the Dragon Boat Festival, a frontal boundary will be present over the northern sea area of Taiwan. The southwest wind will bring warm and humid air, leading to showers or thunderstorms in the central and southern regions in the morning to noon, and in mountainous areas in the afternoon. Some areas may experience localized heavy rain. Reminder, due to the unstable weather, caution is advised when traveling to mountainous areas to prevent landslides and falling rocks. Watch out for lightning, strong winds, sudden heavy rain, and rapid rises in stream water levels. Temperatures will range from 30 to 35 degrees Celsius, with a chance of fain winds in the southeastern windward areas, resulting in higher temperatures. Remember to use sunscreen and stay hydrated when going outdoors. Additionally, fog may occur in Matsu and Kinmen. Please pay attention to flight information. Weekly weather outlook. From Wednesday to Saturday next week, June 12 to 15, influenced by the southwest wind and a nearby frontal boundary, there will be more moisture in the air, making rain more likely. Thunderstorms in the afternoon may be sudden and intense, leading to rapid rises in stream water levels. There is a high probability of lightning strikes, so safety precautions are necessary. The end of the rainy season next week. Starting from next Sunday, June 16, the Pacific High Pressure System will strengthen, and the frontal boundary of the rainy season will move northward to the Yangtze River Basin. Taiwan will be on the verge of the end of the rainy season. The weather will gradually return to hot summer temperatures, with afternoon thunderstorms being the main weather pattern. Title. Speaking brings unpleasant odors. Dentist reveals four sources of bad breath, over 80% comes from here. Published time, June 10, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points. A dentist pointed out that bad breath may make people want to keep their distance, affecting interpersonal interactions. The main sources of bad breath are the mouth and nasal cavity, including diseases such as tooth decay and periodontal disease. Food residue, tartar, and periodontitis can all cause unpleasant odors. In addition, gastroesophageal reflux can also cause bad breath, as the acidic gastric fluid can corrode the teeth. Patients are advised to find the cause, and the first step is to see a dentist for treatment. To prevent bad breath, 
it is recommended to have a dental checkup at least once a year, and specific groups should undergo ultrasonic cleaning and fluoride application every three months. Title, Just Fully Charged But Running Out of Battery Again? Experts suggest quickly delete two types of apps, even desktop tools are affected. Published time, June 10, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key Points Many iPhone users worry about their phones running out of battery shortly after being fully charged. Foreign technical experts pointed out that this may be due to two internal apps. In order to protect personal information, many people install antivirus software, but the built-in antivirus function of the iPhone is already powerful enough. Additional installation will consume more system resources, reducing speed and increasing power consumption. Experts suggest deleting low-frequency apps, avoiding installing antivirus software, and reducing the use of desktop tools to effectively increase phone performance and reduce power consumption. In addition, background app updates, apps that require location tracking, and screen brightness can also affect battery consumption, so attention should be paid to protect the health of the iPhone battery. Title, Female Tenant Drugged and Wakes Up with Landlord on Top, Halfway Through He Asks, Am I Small? Published Time, June 11, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key Points, A Bizarre Incident Occurred in Kaohsiung, where Mr. Tsai invited tenant Ms. A to pray, claiming he suspected her of having vaginal blockage. Afterward, he suggested cupping and drinking alcohol. Ms. A woke up to find herself naked with Mr. Tsai, who later asked, Is my penis small? The verdict stated that Ms. A harbored aversion toward Mr. Tsai, contrary to his claim that she approached him. While the first trial reached a compensation settlement, the second trial judge still deemed Mr. Tsai guilty of repeated harassment and took advantage to commit sexual assault, sentencing him to three years and six months in prison. The case is subject to appeal. Title, Often Losing Money for No Apparent Reason? Avoid placing cash in these five locations, money disappears when placed here. Published time, June 10, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points, according to a column on Soha.com, there are certain views and customs regarding the storage of money in traditional beliefs. It is advised not to place cash in conspicuous places to avoid attracting potential thieves. Avoid placing it in damp areas to prevent banknotes from being damaged and bacteria from growing. Choose convenient and easy to remember locations, not easy to forget ones. Avoid placing it where children can easily reach, to prevent them from treating money as toys and losing or damaging it. Avoid placing it in unsafe storage spaces and choose storage facilities with anti-theft features. It is also recommended to cultivate good money management habits. Title, High in Calcium and Anti-Cancer Properties This vegetable is clean and green, tips for choosing revealed. Published time, June 10, 2024. Source, TVBS News. Key points, King Jiang K, Qing Zhang vegetable, has a unique odor and bitterness, which is not due to pesticide residues but originates from the sulfur compounds unique to the brassy KCE family. As it is less susceptible to pests, pesticide use is relatively low. King Jiang K is rich in indole, calcium, and beta-carotene, which helps maintain eye and skin health and improve cell activity, benefiting overall health. It is recommended to heat King Jiang K for cooking to break down its distinctive odor. When purchasing, look for stems that are plump and firm, leaves that are thick, and King Jiang K with a large base, as larger ones have a stronger odor. Title, 3 Zodiac Signs, 4 Zodiac Signs Welcoming Wealth After Dragon Boat Festival, Dog Easily Wins Lottery. Published date, June 10, 2024. Source, Eastern Broadcasting. Key Points, Tarot Teacher Ching Shui Meng pointed out that after the Dragon Boat Festival, the top three zodiac signs with booming wealth are, dog, horse, and pig. Those born in the year of the dog may unexpectedly encounter a windfall, such as encountering unexpected discounts while dining in restaurants, or having a high chance of winning when buying scratch lottery tickets or redeeming uniform invoices. Those born in the year of the horse may receive unexpected assistance, boosting their windfall, especially those engaged in business-related work who may encounter difficulties in performance but have benefactors to help them. Those born in the year of the pig will gradually stabilize their performance in the workplace. Their habit of saving money will lead to a considerable amount of savings, making them feel more secure inside and more willing to spend money in a thrifty manner. After the Dragon Boat Festival, the top four zodiac signs with booming wealth are, Gemini, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Libra. Title, Neighbor Lights Thick as an Arm Mosquito Coil. Child vomits on the floor within a minute of entering. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Eastern Broadcasting. Key Points, in Binan City, Shaanxi Province. A family suffered from carbon monoxide poisoning collectively due to a neighbor lighting a thick as an arm mosquito coil. The child even vomited violently. The affected woman stated that when she returned home, she smelled a strong mosquito coil scent, and within a minute of entering the house, the child couldn't bear it, and even the adults couldn't tolerate the mosquito coil smell, 
so they had to rush outside to catch their breath. Since the staircase was shared with the neighbor, the smell of the mosquito coil permeated the entire house. After feeling unwell, the family had to ask the landlord to call an ambulance for emergency treatment. It was later revealed that the entire family had carbon monoxide poisoning, but fortunately, it did not delay treatment. The woman was furious that the neighbor did not apologize and instead scolded her family. After the news was exposed, netizens expressed concerns about mosquito coils and suggested avoiding their use as much as possible. Title, Body Changed 31-year-old woman with a lifetime rare disease size, no more vaccines. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Eastern Broadcasting. Key points, research has found that infection with the novel coronavirus increases the incidence of autoimmune diseases, but the COVID-19 vaccine also carries risks. After receiving the vaccine, 31-year-old Ms. Chen developed large patches of rash and blisters on her skin. She was later diagnosed with a rare disease similar to herpes zoster, which cannot be cured for life, only controlled. The doctor suspected it was related to the vaccine. Even prevented the woman from continuing to receive the fourth dose of the COVID-19 vaccine. National Taiwan University Hospital also conducted a survey of psoriasis patients and found that after receiving the vaccine, the condition of 30% of patients worsened. Experts pointed out that vaccine-induced autoimmune diseases are not uncommon, and the pros and cons of vaccination need to be evaluated individually, with no standard answer. It is recommended that patients, if stable, consult a doctor first before evaluating whether to receive the vaccine. Title, Mainland China Euroroute Freight Plummets, Container Giants Plummet in Intraday Trading. Published Time, June 11, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key Points, Container Giants Experienced a Sudden Collective Slump on the 11th, with Evergreen, 2603, and Yangming Marine Transport, 2609, plummeting nearly 8% intraday, while Wang High Lines, 2615, dropped over 4%. Mainland China's Euroroute freight prices plummeted, with contracts 2,408 and 2,410 plunging by over 6% and 12%, respectively. Hamas responded positively but stated its readiness to cooperate with mediators. However, the New York Times pointed out that neither Israel nor Hamas has officially accepted the aforementioned resolution. The container shipping industry has already entered a fierce battle for cargo space in June, with the introduction of the general rate increase, GRI, surcharge. Various operators have also announced the early implementation of the peak season surcharge, PSS, before July. The global congestion in major ports has led to extended container usage times, exacerbating the container shortage problem, with container turnover rates reaching their limits. Shipping operators predict that the container shortage problem will become more pronounced in the coming weeks and months, making it difficult to find empty containers even with additional fees. Title, Record High Cannibal Fungus Cases in Japan This Year, These Epidemic Prevention Stocks Soar. Published Time. June 11, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key points, according to a report by the Yomiri Shimbun, the number of cannibal fungus cases in Japan has reached 977 this year, exceeding the total of 941 cases for the entire previous year, setting a new record for case numbers in Japan. Experts urge the public to be prepared. The Taiwan Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, stated that there is currently no cannibal fungus epidemic in the country. While most people infected with Streptococcus pyogenes can recover, there is still a risk of death for the elderly, children, diabetics, dialysis patients, cancer patients, and other vulnerable individuals. Doctors recommend that young children or immunocompromised adults should wear masks and avoid scratching wounds to prevent infection. The Taiwan CDC also reminds the public to pay attention to hand hygiene and respiratory etiquette to avoid infection. The Taiwan Stock Exchange opened higher on the 11th, and influenced by the record high cannibal fungus cases in Japan. Several epidemic prevention concept stocks soared, such as Hungdian Group, Mao San, Kong N.A. Xiang, and Hotland. Title, Cooling Three Giants Rekindle, Chi Mei's Stock Price Surges in Intraday Trading, Twin Horses, Health Lead in Performance. Published Time, June 11, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key Points, A recent report by a U.S. foreign investment bank pointed out that Chi Mei, 3017, is an early beneficiary of the liquid cooling trend maintaining a buy rating and raising the target price to NT$1,026. Chi Mei's stock price rose sharply in intraday trading on the 11th after several consecutive days of decline, with the highest reaching NT$675, and an intraday increase of over 7%. The report stated that it is optimistic that Chi Mei's EPS this year will increase from last year's NT$14.1 to NT$19.53 this year, and then significantly increase to NT$31.1 in 2025 and NT$45.75 in 2026. 
The U.S. Foreign Investment Bank stated that Chimay is expected to have a capital expenditure of NT$4 billion this year, mainly in its second phase factory in Vietnam. Chimay's Vietnam phase I has started production of 3 DVC, and it will continue to expand to liquid-cooled products in the future. Chimay continues to diversify its production base to meet the needs of global customers. Chimay's April revenue was NT$5.18 billion, a monthly increase of 2.1% and a year-on-year -year increase of 7.7%. The accumulated revenue for the first four months of this year was NT$20.496 billion, a year-on-year -year increase of 23.1%. The cooling three giants all showed an upward trend today, with twin horses, 3,324, opening at NT$755 and rising by over 4% intraday, health policy, 3,653, opened at NT$993 and re-entered the NT$1,000 range, with an intraday increase of over 1%. Title where to find pre-sale houses under 10 million. 256 sold like crazy in this area in one quarter. Published time, June 11, 2024. Source, Economic Daily News. Key points, according to the data compiled by the Evergrande Real Estate Group, in the first quarter of this year, the top 10 areas with pre-sale housing transactions within a total price of 10 million in Taiwan are led by Pusa City, Chi County, with Wuki and Sanmin districts following closely. Other listed administrative districts in sequence are Yangmei District, Guanyin District, Nanza District, Kuoto District, Tomsui District, Fengshan District, and Daewon District. There are three and four administrative districts in Daowen City and Kaohsiung City, respectively, in the top ten list, while only Tomsui District in the Greater Taipei area has the opportunity to buy pre-sale houses under 10 million. Pusa City ranked first with 256 transactions, making it the administrative district with the highest chance of buying pre-sale houses under 10 million. Other listed administrative districts include Waka District in Taichung City, Yangmei District, Guanyin District, and Sanmin District in Taichung City, Yangmei District, Guanyin District, and Sanmin District in Daowen City, and Nanza District, Kuoto District, and Fengshan District in Kaohsiung City. The hot market in these areas is mainly due to regional development and relatively low house price bases. Title, Apple Ventures into the AI Market Apple Intelligence, a powerful tool, sparks Elon Musk's concern? Published June 11, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Highlights. At the Worldwide Developers Conference, WWDC, Apple announced the launch of its own AI, Apple Intelligence, integrated with ChatGPT to enhance Siri's intelligence. Emphasizing privacy protection, Apple Intelligence enables inter-app operations, notification management, and automatic content generation. It provides the Genmoji Emoji and image creation functions. Tim Cook stated that Apple Intelligence would acquire information in a completely private and secure manner to assist users in executing important tasks. Siri will possess screen awareness, enabling it to execute commands across different applications, and will integrate with ChatGPT to provide more personalized responses. iOS 18 allows customization of the home screen, while Mac OS 15 Sequoia supports iPhone screen continuation functionality. Experts believe this is a significant step for Apple, as AI will become its core capability and innovations driven by AI will propel Apple's development. Title, New Youth and Home Ownership Stability Mortgage Policy Remains Active. Banks employ two strategies to combat phantom households and subletting issues. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Highlights. The Youth and Home Ownership Stability Policy continues to attract attention. The latest scenario simulation shows that the government will not halt measures such as interest subsidies but the eight major banks will enhance measures against phantom households and rental income issues. The two main strategies include paying attention to the no transfer of ownership notation on property transfer transcripts and requesting annual income tax data to inspect rental income. The banks generally implement the 75 rule, where the age plus the loan term cannot exceed 75. This rule will be strictly enforced in the future. Youth and home ownership stability accounts for about 40% of the new housing loans in public banks and will not cease interest subsidies for now. However, Discussions will be held on how to prevent non-compliant behaviors. Title, Wealth Comes from Talent and Effort. NYU Professor, Following Passion is the Worst Advice. Published, June 7, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Highlights. Scott Galloway, a marketing professor at NYU Stern School of Business, stated that one of the guidelines for achieving financial security in the modern world is to abandon passion. He advised young people to find what they are good at rather than blindly pursuing passion because following passion is usually a privilege of the wealthy. Opportunities in fields like entertainment and art are limited, with fierce competition, and only a few can make a living. He advocates focusing on discovering and nurturing one's talent, as talent is more easily transformed into high-income professions. Additionally, he emphasized that talent is innate, while passion is a product of nurture. Therefore, 
pursuing passion, which often leads to minimal success opportunities, might be the worst advice for young people. Title, Finding a Local Utopia Amidst the Encroaching AI. Published, June 7, 2024. Source, Business Next Magazine. Highlights. In today's world filled with various information and digital media, people often seek a trustworthy and comforting secret utopia. Through praises of natural landscapes from ancient to modern times in various countries, people have found ideal sanctuaries, such as the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, and Taiwan's central mountain range with a hundred peaks. However, such utopias may be closer than we think, including wild flowers nearby, community green spaces, and even plants on our own balconies. By quietly feeling the sounds of nature and rediscovering the beauty around us, it will be an unexpectedly soulful journey. Title, Random Attacks at Tainan Transit Station, Woman Kicks Pedestrians. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, a random attack occurred at Tainan Transit Station this morning. A woman suddenly kicked a woman waiting for a train in the waiting room and quickly left. Then, outside on the pedestrian crossing, she randomly attacked passers-by with objects and kicks. Security intervened immediately, and the police were called to the scene. The police stated that the woman, who appeared emotionally unstable, kicked two pedestrians passing by. The case is being investigated for suspicion of assault. Citizens are reminding everyone to be vigilant and calling for increased patrols by the police and security. Title, Proposal for Students to Wear Socks in Swimming Pools by Taitung High School Sparks Debate, Sports Bureau, Assisting in Development of Improvement Plan. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key Points Taitung High School suggested students wear socks in the swimming pool due to lime sediment on the pool floor causing injuries to students. The Sports Bureau has arranged for experts to assess the condition of the pool bottom and will assist the school in developing an improvement plan. Other schools have also received Sports Bureau subsidies for pool renovations due to safety issues. The Sports Bureau emphasized that student safety is the top priority and will assist schools in pool improvements to enhance the quality of swimming education. Title, Commuters Lament. You bike malfunctions early in the morning. Transportation Bureau, Service Restored. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, the U-Bike system malfunctioned at 7.51 a.m. today, affecting all 11 counties and cities in Taiwan. Both U-Bike 2.0 and U-Bike 2.0e were unable to provide rental services, causing inconvenience to the public. During peak commuting hours, the inability to rent bikes affected commuters. However, after emergency repairs, Full service was restored at 8.27 a.m. The Taipei City Transportation Bureau explained that the U-Bike 2.0 system update requires adjustments to each bike, leading to a higher failure rate. The Transportation Bureau urged the U-Bike system to make comprehensive improvements and will submit an improvement report by the end of June. The malfunction of the U-Bike system has a broad impact on users, and future penalties may be increased. Title, Initiation of First Phase of Hai Hungan's Recall Activated, City Government, Striving for Support. Published Date June 11, 2024. Source, CTV News. Key points, Shinshu Mayor Gao Hongan faces a corruption case, and the Feng Cheng Angs and Shanglo campaign has launched a recall. Considering the possibility of dismissal if convicted, Deputy Mayor Chu Chen Yuan may take over. The city government responded that about 40% of the public is dissatisfied with the administration and will continue to strive for support. Mayor Gao Hongan participated optimistically in a dragon boat race and encouraged the city government. However, there were concerns about governance issues in less than a year and a half. The verdict in the corruption case is expected in July, and the recall action started early. Coupled with the King Konghui fire incident, public discontent is high, making timing crucial for the petition. The city government respects the recall action but emphasizes that nearly 60% of the public supports Mayor Gao. Efforts to gain support will continue. Title, Known Chain Fast Food Shop Threatened with Poisoning, Culprit Revealed as Talented Female Graduate from National Taiwan University. Published Time 2024-06-11. Source, Eda Day News Cloud. Key points asterisk. A well-known chain fast food shop received consecutive threatening messages demanding a payment of 300,000 NT dollars, or else food in various branches would be poisoned. Concerned about public health and safety, the police tracked down a talented female graduate from National Taiwan University, NTU, who had previously worked in a government agency. She confessed to the threats, citing financial difficulties as the reason. The Taipei District Prosecutor's Office indicted her on June 11 for attempted extortion. Since early 2024, the suspect had been leaving threatening messages on the fast food shop's official website, causing social panic. Through digital forensic investigation, the Criminal Investigation Bureau traced the suspect's IP address to New Taipei City. In March, in collaboration with the New Taipei City Investigation Bureau, 
the police arrested the suspect at her rented accommodation in Zindian. Based on the browsing history on her phone, it was confirmed that she was the person who had threatened to poison the food. The prosecutor filed charges against her for attempted extortion according to the law. Title, Eason Chan collapses while playing ball. Severe injuries require emergency hospitalization, 30 stitches needed to close wound. Published time, 2024-06-11. Source, Eda Day News Cloud. Key points asterisk. Hong Kong singer Eason Chan's Fear and Dreams World Tour was postponed due to vocal cord issues. Now, he has collapsed from heatstroke while playing outdoor ball, resulting in fractures and lacerations, requiring over 30 stitches. The management company urgently announced the postponement of the next six concerts, including the one in Chongqing, which will be rescheduled for 2025. Eason Chan needs to continue his hospitalization and rest, with doctors recommending at least three weeks of recovery. Due to this sudden incident, fans are deeply concerned about his health. Title, Many Receive. Victim of Water Bill Urgent Payment Scam Emerges, Tearfully Shares Dark Screenshots, Laughing at Your Gullibility. Published Time, 2024-06-11. Source, Eda Day News Cloud. Key Points Asterisk. Recently, there has been a surge in water bill urgent payment scam text messages. Some people fell for the scam and actually made payments. Taiwan Water Corporation has urgently announced that they do not provide any short URL links. Since January 2024, they have been using the government-specific short code 111 to send text messages. Netizens remind others not to click on the links and to check payment information through official channels to avoid being scammed. The fraudulent website appears very convincing, but the URL does not end with .governmenttw and includes SBS, clearly indicating a phishing site. Netizens suggest using official apps or automatic transfers to avoid being deceived. Title, Ultimate Graduation Speech over a million views senior student from East Mountain High School delivers five-minute speech without a dull moment. Published time, 2024-06-11. Source, Eda Day News Cloud. Key points asterisk. East Mountain High School in Taipei held its graduation ceremony last week. The graduation speech representative, senior student Lin Yiding, delivered a five-minute graduation speech with a witty and humorous tone, earning continuous applause and laughter from the audience. After the video was shared on a Facebook fan page, it attracted over 1.12 million views, with netizens praising it as the best graduation speech. Lin Yiting said she volunteered for the opportunity to deliver the speech, hoping to present something that people would be willing to listen to. She didn't want to be overly formal or cite cliches, just simply wanted to tell everyone not to fear failure and to bravely pursue their dreams. The speech was lively, with a humorous tone, discussing both the good and bad news about graduation, and encouraging everyone to face the future bravely to avoid regrets. Title Albie's younger sister suspected of fraud exposed. Real Occupation revealed once worked as a shoe shiner, left with only 4,000 RMB. Publication date, June 11, 2024. Source, Eda Day Star Cloud. Highlights, actress Albie, Lin Jialing, has gained prominence in recent years, active in the YouTube field. Her sister, Lin Jiazhen, often appeared in her videos, but faced suspicions of involvement in fraudulent activities. Lin Jiazhen responded, revealing that after leaving her father's company, she went to Shanghai with only 9,000 RMB. After multiple rejections, she finally found work and worked at a well-known film and television company and large advertising agencies. Now, she has become a senior advertising professional. She emphasized that over the years, she has relied entirely on her own efforts, and it was not until last year that her father transferred 1 million TWD for the first time, recognizing her years of hard work. Title, Energy Shu Wei Just Got Married. Brother's wife says, You still owe me a wedding. Opens up about her desire, every girl wants one. Publication date, June 11, 2024. Source, Eda Day Star Cloud. Highlights, Energy Band members Zhang Shu Wei and Xie Jing Ying registered for marriage at the end of 2023 and finally held their wedding on the 9th, with all members attending to offer their blessings. Among them, member Xia Jing Hong's wife, Mei, shared photos from the event and shouted to her husband, saying, You still owe me a wedding. May revealed on social media that she is often asked when they will have their wedding whenever attending weddings. She frankly expressed that a wedding is every girl's dream, but she's already of age, and in a few years, it might be her daughter's wedding. Nonetheless, she still hopes to remind her husband that he owes her a wedding, so he won't forget his promise after attending other weddings. Title, Kaohsiung HSI and Fu Industrial Park Transforms in 8 Years, Price Per Ping Source from 90,000 to 200,000. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Key Points, Kaohsiung HSI and Fu Industrial Park is Taiwan's first industrial park established under the Innovative Industries Act. Global economic recovery and the return of Taiwanese businesses have led to its rapid sellout. 
when it was first put on sale in 2017, the price per ping was less than 90,000 NT dollars, but it has now soared to over 200,000 NT dollars. The Municipal Economic Development Bureau stated that in the future, the city government's development of industrial land will focus on leasing rather than selling. Real estate developers believe that the rapid rise in land prices in Kaohsiung in recent years may make it difficult for industrial land prices to return to the past. Title, Financial Sector Snatches Bonds, Investing 700 Billion NT Dollars Published, June 11, 2024 Source, Yahoo News Key Points, In April, financial institutions made large-scale purchases of bonds to replenish their bond positions with banks and life insurance companies buying a total of 202.4 billion NT Dollars the second highest this year. In the first four months, the financial industry purchased over 700 billion NT dollars in bonds. In April, banks and life insurance companies made significant purchases in response to market expectations that U.S. interest rates would remain high, pushing up U.S. bond yields and encouraging investors to enter the market at low levels. However, institutional investors have also warned that the high bond yields may lead to increased valuation losses for existing bonds, particularly for banks with unrealized losses on bonds at the end of April climbing to nearly half-year highs of 213.3 billion NT dollars. Title, Mechanical Parking Lot Reverses to Form Inverted V, Car Owner Freaks Out, Truly Terrifying. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Key Points, A citizen parked their SUV in their own mechanical parking space, but the interlayer steel plate reversed, forming an inverted V shape, causing the car body to tilt, and the lower level vehicle may also be damaged. Experts pointed out that this situation is rare and suspected to be due to the aging or damage of the machinery. The weight limit of the mechanical parking space is about 1,800 kg, while the Honda CRV weighs about 1,500 kg. However, with the passage of time and usage, the weight bearing capacity may decrease. Another possible reason is oil cylinder leakage, causing the car platform to continuously rise unevenly, resulting in structural damage. Experts recommend strengthening maintenance and regular replacement to reduce the occurrence of accidents. Title, Construction Worker Falls to Death from 19th Floor of Building in Zaitun, Taichung, Labor Bureau Orders Work Suspension. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Key Points, A construction worker fell to his death in an accident at a building construction site on Qinghainan Street in Zaitun District, Taichung City, at noon today. The 44-year-old man surnamed Zhong fell from the 19th floor while performing tower crane climbing operations, and was pronounced dead at the scene by the fire department. The Taichung City Government's Labor Bureau, after conducting an inspection, has ordered the suspension of work, and will issue fines according to the law and refer the case to the judicial authorities. After receiving the report, the Taichung City Government Fire Department dispatched ambulance personnel to the scene, but upon arrival, the victim was found to have no signs of life and was not transported to the hospital. The Labor Bureau has ordered the work site to be suspended and will issue fines according to the law, referring the case to the judicial authorities. In addition, Another construction site in Baitan District experienced a worker falling accident. The Labor Inspection Office has ordered work to be suspended and fined. Recent high altitude falling accidents mainly occurred during construction operations, with the main cause of work safety accidents being the lack of implementation of safety measures during high altitude operations. The Labor Inspection Office will continue to carry out inspections, advocacy, and counseling to enhance the level of engineering safety and health. Title Health Insurance Major Discontinuation 1 June 30 A Major Watershed. 20 Health, Accident and Disability Policies Discontinued. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Key Points, The Financial Supervisory Commission announced the reform of the real payment medical insurance at the end of last year, allowing health insurance to return to the principle of damage compensation. It was planned to be implemented in July this year. Although there have been rumors of a delay in implementation, many life insurance companies have announced the discontinuation of health, accident and disability insurance policies. Industry insiders say that June 30 will be a major watershed in the insurance market. Many life insurance companies, including Fubon, Taishan, Allianz, and Aetna, have announced that 20 policies such as health, accident, and disability insurance will be discontinued by the end of June. This move will have a significant impact on the market, including the popular sincerity and Changshan policies will no longer be sold. Title, A Strand of Hair Reveals Unscientific Features, 57-Year-Old Joey Wong Shares Recent Photo. Published, June 11, 2024. Source, Yahoo News. Key Points, Legendary Superstar Joey Wong, who starred in the mainland Chinese film Beautiful Shanghai in 2004, announced her retirement after its completion and settled in Canada for spiritual practice. Yesterday, on the occasion of the Dragon Boat Festival and the end of the college entrance examination in mainland China, she posted a blessing to the examinees along with a recent selfie. Netizens exclaimed, doesn't look at all like she's 57.
Zhou Wang wished the examinees the best of luck, and the recent photo shows that she still maintains her ethereal beauty, with her features unchanged. Netizens marveled at her ethereal temperament and youthful appearance, praising her as a timeless beauty. Title, Rising Electricity and Natural Gas Prices Lead to Construction Material Price Hikes Will Property Prices Fall? Published Date, June 11, 2024 Source, Commonwealth Magazine Highlights Asterisk Taiwan's construction material prices are on the rise, with estimated price increases of 4% to 6%. The increase in electricity and natural gas prices adds significant cost pressure. The Ceramic Association indicates that many businesses are struggling to maintain profitability and are facing losses, with several companies no longer accepting long-term orders. Despite the rising construction material prices, some developers are noting a weakening trend in the housing market, suggesting that the bullish trend may be coming to an end. In March of this year, Taiwan's leading tile manufacturer, Champion Building Materials, stated that market inflation is severe, with price hikes reaching 20% to 30%. Additionally, the implementation of carbon reduction measures in the construction industry is once again driving up costs, leading to green inflation. Title, Teach Your Children, Choose Kindness When Faced with the Choice Between Right and Kindness. Published Date, June 5, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Highlights Asterisk. Cyberbullying has become a concerning social issue. Even online, we should adhere to etiquette and morality and refrain from slandering others. The anonymity of the Internet has led some to disregard basic courtesy, and such verbal violence is intolerable. Many people have been hurt as a result, with some even resorting to ending their lives to escape the suffering. Parents should be vigilant about whether their children are experiencing cyberbullying and teach them the importance of their words and actions. When facing cyberbullying, it's essential to remain calm, and choosing not to respond and ignore it is the best approach. Moreover, adults should pay more attention to children teaching them to speak kindly to prevent tragedies. Title, in public, feigned humility is the mark of a smart leader. The value of a good supervisor in my mind. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Highlights asterisk. Huang Jensun's altruistic spirit, expressed through his joy in seeing others succeed, has garnered significant attention in the workplace. His speeches not only focus on technology but also on the people around him, even recommending the fruit-selling grandmother at the Tunghua Night Market. This demonstrates the value of a good leader. In the Taiwanese workplace, supervisors who credit their team with achievements are considered smarter. Such supervisors praise their subordinates' performance at major meetings, showcasing their leadership abilities and enhancing both personal and team reputations. Truly effective leaders understand the importance of empowering and acknowledging team members in teamwork. This approach not only benefits the team but also adds to one's own achievements. Title, What is a Supercomputer? Why is AI computation dependent on it? A comprehensive overview of Taiwan's strategy. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Commonwealth Magazine. Highlights asterisk. NVIDIA CEO Huang Jensen and other technology giants came to Taiwan to participate in the Taipei International Computer Show, Computex, promoting the development of artificial intelligence, AI. Huang Jensen suggested that Taiwan invest in building supercomputers, emphasizing their immense computing power and speed for AI applications. Supercomputers are composed of many computing nodes, forming highly efficient and high-performance computing platforms capable of handling massive and complex computational problems. Taiwan's supercomputers include Taipei 1 built by NVIDIA and Taiwan's Taiwania 2 built by the National Center for High-Performance Computing, NCHC, which are continuously enhancing their computing power to meet the demands of AI development. Title, Air Bangs Out, Eyelash Bangs In, 2024 Hottest Trend in Korea and Japan, Pair It With This Short Hair To Transform Instantly. Published Date June 11, 2024. Source, Women's Best. Highlights asterisk. The saying in the hairstyling industry goes, change your bangs, change your face. The 2024 trending eyelash bangs are characterized by the length of the bangs falling just above or reaching the eyelashes. Unlike the traditional air bangs, these emphasize a casual and soft texture, highlighting the contours of the eyes, making them brighter and more vibrant. Popular among Asian women, the eyelash bangs paired with the trendy feather cut create a natural and enchanting atmosphere. Combined with hairstyles like the blunt cut and the soft perm, they exhibit versatility suitable for various hair textures. Title, Hair Guru Wu Yilin, from 90 kg to 51 kg. 5 Tricks to Cultivate a Never Gain Weight Slim Physique, Understanding Oneself is Key. Published Date, June 11, 2024. Source, Women's Best. Highlights Asterisk. Teacher Yilin shared the key to maintaining a slim figure without gaining weight, developing good daily habits such as stretching every day and tightening the abdomen to exercise core muscles. She recommends consuming more protein to maintain breast size, while also advocating for leg massages and controlling swelling. 
In terms of diet, she suggests drinking soup and eating more vegetables for breakfast, avoiding dinner as much as possible to allow the stomach to digest and rest properly. The key to successful weight loss lies in understanding one's own body type, finding the right weight loss method, and gradually losing weight through correct dietary habits to cultivate a physique that doesn't easily gain weight. Title, Netizens tested Zhao Lusi's weight loss method and lost 15 kilograms in a month. Zhao Lusi's 7-day weight loss plan, 4 key secrets to slimming revealed. Published date, June 10, 2024. Source, Women's Best. Highlights asterisk. Zhao Lusi's weight loss method is based on principles such as eating breakfast, consuming more fruits and vegetables, drinking water, and avoiding dinner and snacks. She shared a week's worth of weight loss meals, such as oatmeal with boiled eggs for breakfast on Monday and salad with cherry tomatoes for lunch, emphasizing the avoidance of dinner and snacks. After testing by netizens, a weight loss of 15 kilograms was achieved in a month. However, long-term implementation is not recommended, and particular attention should be paid to avoid weight rebound during the diet recovery phase. News title, Chu Dan dismissed by Rakuten. He speaks out, I'm sorry, I've let everyone down. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. News highlights, Rocket and Monkey's outfielder Chu Dan was dismissed by the team today after crashing his car while driving under the influence on the highway yesterday. He issued an apology statement, expressing deep regret and sorrow, acknowledging that drunk driving is an unforgivable act. He apologized for the negative impact it could have on innocent road users, the league, and the team. He accepts the team's decision and hopes it serves as a lesson. Chu Dan promised to do his best to make up for his mistake in the future. He specially apologized to the team, his family, and the public, feeling sorry and self-reproachful for not being able to fulfill the roles of a professional athlete, husband, and father. News title, Another Fatality in Bail and Tea Room Incident Accumulated death toll reaches 6, 46-year-old liver transplant female patient passed away at Wan Fang Hospital. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. News highlights, the Bongkrek acid food poisoning case at Bail and Tea Room has now resulted in six fatalities. Today, a 46-year-old female patient died at Wan Fang Hospital, becoming the sixth fatal case. She dined at Bail and Tea Room on March 21st and showed symptoms of food poisoning, undergoing a liver transplant surgery. Although her condition improved, it worsened again on June 5th, and she was urgently transferred to the intensive care unit. Despite all-out efforts, she passed away at 3.56 p.m. today due to multiple organ failure. Taipei City Health Bureau revealed that the patient's condition deteriorated last night, and even after treatment with ECMO, she still died due to multiple organ failure. CDC spokesperson Tseng Shuhui also confirmed this news this afternoon. News title, Andy Lau reveals health condition, doctor warns you'll die within a year without surgery. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. News highlights, double film king Andy Lau and Gao Ji attended a game endorsement press conference together today. Andy Lau revealed that he has excessively high cholesterol and was warned by the doctor, you'll die within a year without surgery. It's been a year and a half, and I'm still alive, but now I can't eat anything. He couldn't understand why the doctor said, do it while there's no danger. He asked, why do surgery if there's no risk? Gao Ji referred to Andy Lau as someone who can be called a teacher, praising his strong presence. Andy Lau returned the compliment, saying, Gao Ji's aura is really powerful. They expressed satisfaction with the endorsement fee, although the advertisements were shot separately. They look forward to future collaborations. Andy Lau revealed he will come to Taiwan next month to film a movie, but when asked if the director is Joe Guanwei, the director of Fantasy Love and Time Revolution in Taiwan, Andy Lau laughed and said, I didn't say that. News title, Fubon Angels flaunt bust of figures in Macau, fans stunned, watched like that for an hour. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. News highlights, members of the Fubon Guardians cheerleading squad, Fubon Angels, including Dan Dan, Anna, and Jesse have a large number of fans. Among them, Anna has recently interacted frequently with internet celebrity Taiwan Josh, earning her the nickname Captain and a surge in popularity. Recently, the three of them went to Macau for vacation and uploaded videos of themselves in hot swimsuits on social media, prompting fans to exclaim, the scene is too tantalizing. Dan Dan has a sweet face and an exceptional figure. Although she is 34 years old, fans say they can't tell at all and age is not a problem. Anna, nicknamed Captain, has been interacting frequently with internet celebrity Taiwan Josh recently, becoming a hot topic in the Chinese Professional Baseball League. Jesse joined Fubon Angels in 2021 and is a popular member of the team, with recognizable hair color and a cute appearance, also deeply loved by fans. Recently, the three of them relaxed in Macau and occasionally shared treats on social media, with fans exclaiming, looks great. I watched for an hour, 
and this summer is a bit too exciting. News title, only 78 tickets refunded and encore performance. Andy Lau's three shows continue as scheduled this week, next year's Taipei Arena schedule revealed. Published date, June 11, 2024. Source, Apple Daily News. News highlights, Cantopop megastar Andy Lau, infected with RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, had to cancel his three concerts at Taipei Arena on the 7th, 8th and 9th of last week. Will the concerts go on this week as scheduled? The organizers revealed that Andy Lau will arrive in Taiwan this Thursday, and insiders disclosed that everything is proceeding normally for the performance. The organizers confirmed, the concerts this week have not received any notice of cancellation. Everything is normal. Last week, about 11,000 tickets were refunded, with 78 refund applications. In March next year, Andy Lau 60 Plus will hold an encore performance at Taipei Arena, making up for the three cancelled shows last week. The organizers expressed sincere intentions, stating that for the cancelled concerts, full refunds will be given, and compensation for transportation and accommodation will be provided. Ticket holders for next year can exchange their tickets for the same price tickets. They also reminded ticket holders to keep their tickets away from heat sources and to store them in protective covers in a damp proof box or a dark place to prevent ticket fading.